I want to touch on a, on the most important issue of of the day. <clears throat> DeviantArt has not been, you know, doing such a good job about enforcing certain rules that they should have been enforcing <clears throat> for so long. They've been getting by with enforcing like stupid bullshit that means nothing like we got like a lot of rules being in, like like not being enforced into the uh, right degree and little do do those moderators know hey if you're gonna be a platform, enforce the 28 following rules. And I will list them off as such. In the beginning portion of, of these rules states as follows. Number one, no Lucio X Diva art or fan fiction of any kind is permitted. They didn't enforce that rule. They did not enforce that rule at all whatsoever. Because they fucking suck at enforcing that rule. Enforcing that rule keeps things straight and narrow number three Wait, I think I skipped it I think I, yeah I did is I did skip an like one rule no making of doa X Final Fantasy LGBTQ art of any kind is not permitted. They've allowed that shit because of of Dante so and so making that shit. And and he doesn't even suffer the ramifications for that action. Like what the fuck? Who the fuck wants to see that shit? If I want to see that shit, I would go to fucking Rule 34 for that shit, not deviant fucking art. And uh, number three is no thanks for the faves comments nor hate comments are permitted. They didn't force that rule as a part of the goddamn guidelines that they that, that the platform is too damn lazy to enforce that fucking rule. Like that shit pisses me off. Instead of saying Thanks for the fave. We go into somebody else's fucking go on somebody else's account or page and comment in the comment section. No thanks are needed and no hate comments are needed either. People fave what they like. Not for the for the sake of faving some fave putting something in their favorites on deviant fucking art and number uh, let's see number four no art depicting Persephone as Hades wife is not permitted 
And that should be a rule being enforced. Because that would affirm that that the whole Hades and Persephone relationship in so-called Greek mythology to be a slap in the face to those who are of of offended by artwork depicting that crap. No one wants artwork depicting Persephone or the abduction of Persephone by Hades. That would piss people off and offend people who have the common sense and brains. Number, uh, number, uh, five. No unwanted nor unwelcome character shipping art is permitted. They did not enforce that rule. If the character shipping or art is not permitted then why the fuck is in that rule not enforced to the extreme aggressive degree if somebody takes to the comment section and says hey I don't like you shipping so-and-so with so-and-so it's offensive, please remove it, or redo it. And then if they report the, the, uh, the content, and, and you get like, like, they, they should give out a five strike rule. And, uh, number six, there's no making of any art that, or, or, yeah, like number six, no making any art that makes other users cringe. That's a rule that, that DeviantArt should have had, should have enforced in the fucking long run of the fucking site. Why do you think Pixiv has been growing in popularity? Because some people are tired of DeviantArt picking and choosing which fucking guidelines they enforce instead of these set starter pack of guidelines that they should have been been enforcing to begin with and another thing to add to that is another one no Lucio X Diva content is allowed that means on all of the internet that Lucio X Diva content is not allowed. Period. That means if you want to see that shit, go to Rule 34 for that shit. But if you're on like a forums site, or deviant art there should be no Lucio X Diva art of any kind on that site unless if it's rule 34 number two is no Lucio X Diva art is allowed that means only 
only on, you know, rule 34 are you allowed to see or allowed to post such art of, of any kind of, 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 of the sort on rule 34, but not on, you know, deviant art. That's the rule that they didn't, that's a part of the guidelines that even are not enforce. Number three is no Harley X Poison Ivy content is allowed. That means that only on Rule 34 are you allowed to post that kind of shit on Rule 34. Not on DeviantArt, not on any other website, but Rule 34. With the exception of very few alternatives to Rule 34. And number three. Yeah, that, that was number three, but number four is no Joker X. Well, no Harley X Joker content is allowed. Maybe on Deviant, maybe on like, like the past Deviant Art style, but on said Deviant Art these days, you should not be allowed to post that shit on Deviant Art. You can post that shit on Rule 34. And and uh Rule 5. No Ryu X Kasumi content is allowed because it's not canonical with the said game they have no romantic attraction to each other are uh, in in the game whatsoever and yes that's how that is and it's not canon to the to the damn game anyways They don't show any romantic interest, but oh, you have the fucking DOA Dead or Alive movie trying to redcon, redcon that fucking relationship. That's why I get pissy. And uh, rule number six, no Bianca X. Phase 4 content is allowed. That means don't post it on DeviantArt. If somebody doesn't like it and they report it, you must, re must remove all artworks of the series of any kind off the Sight. Period. That means... That means you gotta post it on Rule 34 in order to get it on the internet. And uh, number uh, seven. No Tracer X Emily Content is allowed on DeviantArt. That means you may be allowed to post it on Rule 34, but not on, you know, DeviantArt. And, uh, yeah, they didn't enforce that rule. 
They should have enforced the rule and the guideline. And I'm sick and tired of of DeviantArt gatekeeping what's allowed and what's not. Like, oh, you post pictures of poop on DeviantArt. Blocked. Once. Blocked twice. Blocked three times. Oh, you showed a picture of poop on and toilet paper with poop smear on it. Ban. Your account gets deactivated. Like, what the fuck? That shit gets, you know, you know, like, re-fucking-ported like a bunch of ignorant shells. Like, we have a certain degree of, of holding platforms accountable for their actions. And, uh, rule number eight, no Tifa X cloud art is allowed or content. Sorry about that content. Like no Tifa X cloud content is allowed. Cause that shit could offend anyone. Number nine. No Ijigo X or Hime content is allowed. Meaning you have to go somewhere else to post it. But you post what is expected of you to post on your own account on DeviantArt by somebody who watches you follows you that means that you no longer should post that kind of shit on DeviantArt and uh Rule 10, no Noctis Harem content is allowed. And one of them, one of the, one of the users violated this fucking, you know, this fucking, you know, guideline. And that's... That's the fucking rule that they should have enforced. Not try to suppress that fucking rule. And number 11. No Mercy X Fara content is allowed. They should have enforced that rule. Number 13 is no... Dina X or Ellie X Dina content is allowed. A number that that's like number thirteen. And uh, number twelve, no Mercy X Genji content is allowed. Number fifteen is no Cora X Asami content is allowed. Number 16, if you're, if you see anti-LGBTQ content on DeviantArt, leave it alone, period. Number 17, no LGBTQ shipping content is allowed. And 
and number third well number 18 no Boruto X erotic content is allowed and and uh, number 19 and there's no blocking other users from your account period number 22 or sh number 20 is no disagreement with other users is allowed and number 21 no Ellis X Zoe content is allowed number 22 no, and no reporting anti-LGBTQ content or, yeah, or, well, no reporting anti-LGBTQ comments nor content is allowed. And yes, I've been banned because... DVNR was too damn lazy to, to enforce these guidelines that they were too lazy to enforce. These were rules that they should have been enforcing and enacting. I made a video slamming the CEO of, of DVNR for, for his, his, uh, that horrid treatment of me. He's probably banned numerous others for some bogus shit. Like, oh, you post pictures of poop on paper and poop in a toilet on DeviantArt, ban you. But when it comes And, well, you see, the whole thing about DeviantArt is, is that I look at Angelo Sotira, who is the CEO of, of DeviantArt, as, as a piece of low-life shit for not enforcing these fucking 28 rules. That he should have enforced. He should have enforced these rules. That he should have been enforcing. Not banning people for posting pictures of poop. Or poop smear on paper. On toilet paper. Not banning people for, for such things. They don't use the proper rules. These rules DeviantArt should have been enforcing. The 28 Rules Act. So that way no one would be offended by what another user posted but it doesn't justify keeping somebody's account deactivated without their permission if it's their account it is their property regardless if it's on your site Actually, it would be fair because there are a niche pocket of people who don't like what rules that DeviantArt has right now.
and and the art that I see on DVR all the fucking time isn't fair to me. Oh, if you post anything of nudity, you gotta have a mature tag on it. Like, uh, I see it on there a lot of times. The, the majority has to suck it up and deal with it and abide by the, by the 28 rules act that DeviantArt should have enforced during the 2010s and the 2000s. They should have enforced these 28 rules. But I guess the Naughty Dog ever those punk motherfuckers naughty dog didn't get the fucking memo if somebody doesn't like what you written in your damn game then stop writing it in your damn game and there won't be no one be be offended or or pissed off about it No, it wouldn't make very much sense because there wouldn't be very much traffic. And if Angelo Sotira doesn't want to get his ass chewed out e even more, he should reinstate my old account and leave it the fuck alone. Leave reinstate my account and then leave it alone and yes I've seen a lot of offensive shit on DeviantArt that should get banned get the user banned but if you actually post pictures of toilet paper with poop smear or poop on DVR, you get banned or or suspended. That ain't fair. Taking photos is another art form that could be re, you know like respected. I think Angelo Sotira should have had his head split open for all the stupid shit he allows to be posted on his platform instead of reprimanding unwelcome, unwanted shippings or some bullshit. I've seen a lot of things that has offended me on DeviantArt that Angelo Sotira should have got got the the uh, got the oh said Noctis Harem are banned and removed off of the platform. Uh, the only people who don't like poop are the ones who don't you know have like any family members that are in you know like the medical medical field or science field
And yet people should care about the whole shipping thing. Like, if you ship something that undermines my ship, that goes against what I believe to be true, and that's offensive, and that ain't very fair to me. So if you want to post pro-LGBTQ anime stuff or video game stuff, post it on Rule 34, not on DeviantArt. What? Okay. Yeah, um... But anyways, the 28 rules that I've listed off are the rules that DVNR should have, you know, enforced. And yes, all of my ships are cannon. And it doesn't matter what Naughty Dog or or what Square Enix says or what um what Blizzard says. Um, last time I checked, before the gaming industry ever even existed, Zeus told me himself, and and I can confirm this, since, since the beginning, during back in the biblical period when I was up in the heavens with Zeus, he told me that I decide what's canon and what's not. And the video gaming industry long before there ever was a video gaming industry that only I get to decide what's canon not the developers the developers don't deserve the right to say what is canon and what is not only I do Zeus didn't uh, oh so you're so you're saying Zeus didn't say that he didn't say that to anybody else. He said that to me. He said that to me before the the, the tech age ever happened. Uh, that's where you're wrong. Zeus does exist. People think people have have like small brains to think that Zeus don't exist. None of us would be here if, if, if he didn't exist. And I will make a, a video series based on on making sure that shit is corrected Zeus doesn't show himself to mortals unless if it's a woman and he he himself showed himself to me cuz I'm his son
That was back in the biblical period of time. And Zeus put me in charge of what is canon and what is not. Not the game devs, not the comic book writers, not the animators, no one. But me, who decides what is canon. And furthermore, I didn't see Hades object to this kind of thing. Because he spends most of his time in the underworld anyways. So he wouldn't have uh, objected to it. That's where blasphemous sacrilegious things and sacrilegious thinking like that should be, you know, not allowed to be said. And that's why I'm making this video because DeviantArt is too damn lazy and refusing to enact the 28 rules act of their policy of their of their like you know guideline policy so yes the Greek gods are actually real I have seen the face of Zeus myself he actually does exist So yeah, I'm in charge of what's canon and what's not. Not the game devs, not the animating studios, not the comic book writers. No one but me is in charge of what is canon and what it is not. The evidence is already out there. No, the game devs are not in charge, and I will make a damn video blasting them, them, them st stupid sons of bitches. Uh, if they go woke, they go broke, and that's me showing that I have power over them. It is not head cannon, nor will it ever be head cannon. Cause I'm not some mere mortal. I have, I may have a mortal, mortal mother, and a deity father, but I decide what is head cannon, head cannon, and what is not. It, oh, they wouldn't give a crap, huh? I would just end up snapping at, at the game devs. Because they know that they don't deserve to be in charge. Ever. Of what is canon and what is not. Only I decide what is canon and what is not. And disagreements with me is not acceptable not acceptable period far beyond all belief cuz only I decide what is canon and what is not
Oh shit, yeah I can. The more videos I make about them... Uh, for one, you would have to be the child of a god in order to, in order to have the ability to do so. Only I have that ability. The name is Jason, not Thomas. So that's the uh, list of 28 rules that DeviantArt was too damn lazy to enforce.